everyone, my name is Akash Pandit. I'm a final year student at IHM Goa and you're watching IHM Goa Connect. So what we did is, we gathered a bunch of students and our teachers to create a platform of sorts where they could all lay their thoughts and ideas and keep up the sphere of positivity in a time of crisis like this. So let's take a peek in our minds and see what we have to say. Question 1. Do you miss college? Yes, I miss the college, DK to be specific. I really don't miss college because I really required a break for myself from college and work life. Now I have a lot of me time for myself to accomplish those activities which I long for. Surprisingly, yes, I miss the college because I feel the days are longer now. Yes, I am missing college, entering 8.15 in the morning, delivering lecture sessions to you all lovely students, preparing for my future classes, my regular routine. This sudden lockdown has brought everything to a standstill and a complete world down. I do really miss you all and our college. Question 2. What do you miss the most during this? Being busy for one, feeling productive, having a proper schedule and food. Definitely food. Fried chicken and wine for you. Is all the time that I spent with my friends, all the conversations that we had, and all the memories that we made. Hi everyone, this lockdown I miss a lot of things. I miss being with my mom, my brother, my relatives and friends. I miss going out with my family. I miss going to work. I miss the cooking in our quantity kitchen along with our team. I miss the sound of students around in the campus and much much more. But all this will pass. So stay home, stay safe and stay blessed. Hi guys, hope you all are doing well and acting responsible by following all the lockdown norms. What I miss the most during this lockdown period is uh, my routine life, which includes interacting with all of you all in the classes and seeing the same faces every day. I hope uh, everything becomes normal soon and we can get back to our routine. You all take care and be safe. Question 3. What is the best thing during this lockdown? This is Ria Pandey and the thing which I love most about this lockdown is that I get to spend so much of time with my family and I am exploring myself more. It's not a waste of productivity. To think all the times I wanted to take a break, to relax or wanted to pursue a hobby, this is the time. I can just reconnect with myself and be whoever I want without compromising on any studies. Hey, my name is Nikita Jadav and the thing I love most about lockdown is that the pollution levels have decreased and we can spend quality time with our parents and we can enhance and discover our inner hobbies and talents. Wow, it's an amazing work done by one of my students. He started a new YouTube channel in this quarantine period. And he is not just one. There are many students out there who started similar things in this lockdown period. This is what exactly I would like to share with you all. This is the best time for introspection. This is the best time to know your strength and your talent. This is the time to know your weakness and your fear and to overcome it. Look at what I have done. I started learning some craft work for my wife and my daughter, she started learning some artwork, dance for paintings. My dear friends, please don't count on the lockdown period, rather explore yourself, learn something new, cooking, craft work, artwork, dance, keep yourself positive, keep us all updated what you're doing there, stay home, stay safe and stay blessed, lots of love from it. Question 4. How is the hotel, hospitality and travel industry going to be impacted by the lockdown? The tourism industry will be greatly impacted by the lockdown. Especially in Goa, the stakeholders of the tourism industry will have to rethink strategies so that tourism can be an effective uh, player in the industry soon. The hospitality industry will be uh, impacted very badly because people will be a little hesitant to travel. However, the restaurants and the small takeaways will not be so badly impacted because people are not going to stop eating. They like to eat different kinds of cuisines and different kinds of food. So the impact of lockdown will be really bad on the hospitality, travel and hotel industry, yes. Question 5. What would you like to tell all your students. Dear all, Namaste. Please shall overcome. Please take care of yourself. 
and your parent as well. Make yourself hopeful and helpful. I am very much hopeful that you all must be utilizing this time to enhance your creativity. Thank you. Hope you all are doing well. My message for you during this time of pandemic is just three points. Point number one, change your perspective about life. Be a paradigm shift about what you think life is. Point number two, reconsider what should get your valuable time, your love, your affection, and your care and who should get your valuable time your love your affection and your care and point number three find out what really matters in life and who really matters in life that's it from my side thank you question six what would you like to say to the general public Out, hang out with your friends and have street food but for that we need to get through this together please stay safe and stay at home hello i'm rituja as we all know the covid 19 pandemic is spreading rapidly all over the world in this situation we should cooperate with our government and stay at our home and stay updated as well we can enhance our skills can learn something new and can be productive in this lockdown stay home stay safe my message to the general public is to stay home, do not step out. The government is working out. They are making all possible efforts to overcome this pandemic. Question 7. What would you like to say to all the health and essential service workers? I would like to say thank you. Thank you for your dedication, for your commitment, for the sacrifices that you are making every single day, for the countless lives that you are saving and for making sure that we feel safe in our homes. If today in the face of adversity, I am not scared to my core, it's because I know that if anything happens, you guys will be there taking care of me, risking your own lives. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey guys, it's me again. In a state of pandemic as we are right now, with economies and industries crumbling, as a student, I find myself with a lost sense of purpose or even direction, which I think is very natural. Adversity has hit quite literally everything in different degrees and in different forms. A lot of people are out of jobs. A lot of them have lost their livelihoods even. Hospitality, for example, has been hit pretty hard. But honestly, I think hospitality is as old as the hills. As long as people feel the need to travel, and keep in touch, bond over a meal, this industry will always be there to cater to it. This industry will always be there to provide a home away from home. And as long as that stands, everyone in it will always have a livelihood. Now you may ask, there is no travel happening. So what is the need for all of this? Which brings me to my next point and the most important one I may make, which is all this is temporary guys. And sooner or later, it will pass. There have been pandemics and plagues in the past with lesser technology, information, and even resources. We've still managed to get out of it. Even right now, with the number of places being declared as green zones, it is only a matter of time before things normalize. So I have used this time to relax and eventually to introspect, repurpose, and realign my thoughts so I can do something productive at the end of the day. We may never get this time again, so let's enjoy it while it lasts. Stay safe, everyone. Hello, everyone. I am Umbarish Sarmakar, a graduating student of IHM Goa. This uncertain, sudden situation of lockdown had been an eye-opener and a life-changer for me. A few days into the lockdown and I had realized that I had to get creative, otherwise I would have gone crazy. So, I took over the kitchen from my mom, getting hold of the traditional recipes from the elders in the family. Thanks also to the internet, I had access to loads of techniques and recipes. This period of time also had me reviving my old habits of reading, sketching and working out in order to keep both my mind and my body active. I had thought that should my freedom of stepping outside my house be taken away from me, I would have left with nothing to do. I couldn't have been more wrong. We are at a stage 
having just completed 3 years of college life approaching a promising career and now we head deeper into this time of testing the only way out is getting through so i accept this challenge hello everyone my name is ashley clins wilfred trust you are all well and staying safe at home while i was waiting for this lockdown to end i have started my own youtube channel and i have discovered another side of me which i never knew before exploring the finer nuances of shooting a culinary video clip this lockdown time with family has been more precious i have enjoyed a lot of time with my family and also it has given me a chance to practice my best dance move this lockdown is especially hard for all of us aspiring hoteliers after 3 years of hard work and looking forward for a bright bright future and a career we now face this hard reality of campus recruitment offers being withdrawn as hotels and tourism and hospitality is also facing the severe hit however you can take a hospitality student out of a hotel but you can't take a hospitality out of me i'm raring to bounce back and take this new challenge ahead on be it answering more interviews gaining additional qualifications and also bringing out the entrepreneur in me it's time to stay positive and evolve thank you hello everyone my name is ayati rajesh shetty and i'm a third year student of ihm go currently you might be worrying that things are getting out of hand disappointed at the numbers rising but let me tell you things are actually getting better before the lockdown cases of corona virus were doubling after every 3 days after the lockdown currently the cases are doubling after every 7 days one of the most important precious career opportunity was taken away from me but my message to all hospitality professionals my colleagues my friends would be do not get disheartened hospitality industry will never stop as long as people have to have 3 to 5 meals a day chefs will always have a job we are evolving through this situation today we are living a new normal life tomorrow we'll find another new normal we're finding back our life with every restaurant that reopens for takeaway and delivery with every zone that is being determined green and certain rules being relaxed and with every company that is finding more sustainable and safer ways to operate even in this current given situation it's just a matter of time stay positive stay home stay safe and grab every opportunity that lets you learn and grow thank you